Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, I'll show you how to add this breadcrumbs design to your blogger website. Now, I already have a video on how to design this using HTML and CSS and I will leave the link in the description of this video. And I also have a video on how to add this to a blogger website in the Contempo theme. Now, in this video, I'll show you how to add this design to your Emporio theme which comes by default with blogger. So, let's get started. <laughs> Right here I'm in the dashboard of my blogger website and if I go over here to theme, here we can see we are using this theme called Emporio and if you go to the website, this is how it looks. So what we need to do is we need to add this uh, breadcrumbs design into the post. So if you open one of these posts, we want to display the breadcrumbs over here just above this title. So let's right click over here and click on inspect and uh, let's take a look at the structure of the website. And uh, here we can see we have all of these divisions over here. And here we have this division with the class of post outer. And in that we have the post wrapper division. So in this post wrapper division, we need to add the breadcrumbs. So let's find this in our blogger theme code. So we have this uh, class of post wrapper and also not hero. So let's go to the blogger theme code. So I'll just click on this arrow and click on edit HTML. And I'll just press Command F and if you're using Windows, you can just press Control F and let's search for Post Wrapper. And we had another class which was Not Hero. So let's tap Not Hero. And let's press Enter. Now here we can see we have this uh, division with the class of Post Wrapper and Not Hero. So here we can see it is on this line number 3007. So let's add some text over here and let's see whether it is being displayed. So let's create an H2 and I'll just tap testing and uh, let's click on save. And let's go back to the website and uh, let's refresh this page. And here we can see that the heading is not being displayed. So this is not the correct place. So this is basically for the featured post. So let's go ahead and remove this from here. And uh, we need to find another instance of this uh, class so let's search for it once more and uh, let's press enter and now here we can see we have another instance and uh, this is on line number 4063 so here we have this post wrapper and not hero so let's add a heading over here and let's see whether it is being displayed so let's tap h2 testing and uh, let's click on save Right now let's go back to our website and let's refresh this page and now we can see testing is being displayed so this is the correct place now if you go back to the home page here we can see testing is displayed in all the posts in our home page so we don't want to display it in the home page we want to display it only on the page where we have this post so for that let's go back and let's add an if condition so let's type less than b colon if and for the condition, let's type data colon blog dot page type. And let's see whether it is equal to item. And let's close the if condition over here. All right, now let's save this. And now let's go back to our website and let's refresh this page. And here we have the testing heading displayed over here. And if you go to the home page, here we don't have testing displayed. So it is working all right. Now let's go ahead and add the code of our breadcrumbs over here. So let's go to the source code. And I will leave the link of the source code in the description. So let's copy this HTML from here. And let's paste it over here instead of this heading. So here we have pasted all the HTML. Now let's go ahead and paste the CSS. So I'll just create a style tag over here. And let's go back to the source code and let's go to the style.css file. And let's copy everything from this line of code till the end. And let's paste it over here inside this style tag. Right now let's save this. Let's go back to our website and let's refresh this page. 
And now here we can see we have the breadcrumbs design displayed. We'll also remove the padding on the left side and we'll also remove this uh, box shadow. So let's go back and here let's type padding left and let's set it to zero. And I'll just remove the box shadow from here. I'll just comment it. And we'll also add some margin bottom. So let's type margin bottom and let's set it to 20 pixels and let's save it. And let's go back to our website and let's refresh this page. And now we can see it looks all right. Now let's go ahead and change these uh, labels over here to the labels of our post. And we also need to change the URL of this home icon and we also need to change the title over here. So let's go back and uh, let's scroll down. And here we have the link for the home page. So I'll just copy the link of the home page from here. And let's go back and let's paste it over here. Right now let's scroll down and here we have the categories. Now we need to loop through all the categories that we have in this post and we need to display them over here. So let's go ahead and uh, let's add a blogger loop. So I'll just delete these two anchor tags from here and uh, we need to add the anchor tags inside the blogger loop. So first of all, let's go ahead and see whether we have any labels. So let's type B colon if and let's add a condition and uh, in the condition, let's type data colon post dot labels. So this will see whether we have any labels in our post and let's close the if condition over here. And we also need to add an else. So if you don't have any labels, then we need to display something. So let's type B colon else. And uh, here let's create an anchor tag. And here I'll just type uncategorized. And now if we have the labels, then we need to loop through each of the labels. So let's create a B loop. Now for the loop, we need to have values and variable. So let's type values and we'll set the values equal to data colon post dot labels. And uh, let's add a variable and uh, here we need to type a variable name. So I'll just type label and uh, let's close the loop over here. Now in this loop, we need to create the anchor tag. So let's create an anchor tag over here. Now, instead of just typing href, we need to have a dynamic href. So we need to create an expression. So let's type expr colon href equals here in this anchor tag, we need to have the label displayed. So let's type data colon label dot name. And for the href, let's type data colon label dot URL. So now this will loop through all the labels and display them over here in our breadcrumbs. And if you don't have any labels, then it will just display uncategorized. Right now, the last thing we need to do is we need to update the title. So here we can just type data colon post dot title and this will display the title. So let's go ahead and save this. And now let's go back to our website and let's refresh this page. And now we can see we have the home page with the correct URL. We have the labels displayed over here and we also have the title. And for the labels, we have the links of the labels. So if I click on this tips label, we have all the posts related to tips displayed over here. And uh, if I click on the home icon, we are taken to the home page. So everything is working all right. So let's open another post. And let's open this post right here. So we need to have the technology label. So here we can see it says technology and we have the post title displayed over here. So everything is working all right. Let's go ahead and delete one of these labels and let's see whether we have uncategorized displayed. So let's go back to the list of posts. And let's go ahead and uh, remove this AI label from here. In the last post and let's click on update and uh, let's go back to our home page let's scroll down and let's open this last post over here and now we can see it says uncategorized because we don't have any labels for this post 
All right, so that's basically how you can add a custom breadcrumbs design to your blogger website in the Emporio theme. So that's basically it for this video. If you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below. And if you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.